out in front in the race for number 10, now with a new high-profile backer. Tory MP Tom Tugendhat was standing to be Prime Minister two weeks ago, but he now says he's backing Liz Truss. Uh, I wasn't in the air, but welcome to Biggin Hill. One eye on a government job, maybe, but campaigning at a London airfield today, the former soldier and critic of Boris Johnson says he understands why the Foreign Secretary and others stayed loyal. I can see why people like Ben Wallace and Liz Truss stayed in the Cabinet. My views on the last administration have never been a secret. I've been completely open about it since the beginning, but those who decided to serve had a responsibility to serve, and I can safely say that many of them did. Meanwhile, at a Cotswolds estate, party prep for Boris and Carrie Johnson's wedding celebration. The event, delayed by Covid, is reportedly happening this weekend at the home of a Tory donor. It's another day of fun for the outgoing PM. A fortnight ago, he was flying fighter jets in Lincolnshire before holding a leaving party at his countryside retreat and visiting Ukrainian troops training in Yorkshire. With the leadership contest too, it's led to accusations of a government and prime minister missing in action on the big issues facing the public. Not so, says Liz Truss. He has done a fantastic job in standing up to Putin, in delivering Brexit and in delivering our vaccine uh, to COVID and helping us deal with that great crisis. I think he's entitled to enjoy his wedding day and I wish the best to him and Carrie and all the family. With Westminster empty of MPs for summer, the focus is now on grassroots supporters around the country. We aren't even halfway through this leadership race yet, but the coming days will be crucial. That's because ballot papers start landing on Tory doorsteps from Monday and many members are expected to vote in the first half of August. At the moment, Liz Truss appears to be running away with this contest, leaving Rishi Sunak in desperate need of a game changer. That didn't arrive last night, but there weren't any disasters either as the former Chancellor faced a TV grilling over his opposition to immediate widespread tax cuts. It, it would be the easiest thing in the world for me to sit here and say, no, I don't want to do any of these difficult things. I'd Look, like to give everybody all these nice things. Don't you think that would make my life easier? It's because I genuinely believe it would not be the responsible thing to do that I'm saying that we should put, go down this course, be careful with our borrowing, manage it carefully, but help people with the cost of living this year, nobody. which is what we're doing. Liz Truss said today the contest was still very, very close. That may be underselling her lead, but with five weeks to go, there's still ample time for slip-ups and breakdowns. Rob Powell, Sky News in Westminster.